what I'm saying. Like, you just you, like, you don't know me. The fact that you just think I would kiss you, like, you're overconfident. I'm a young savage, you know. There's nothing you cannot do, you. I'm a young savage, you know. I'm just not out here. I don't trust people. you. If we have a kiss, it's going to be you. How much Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Azine Williams. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to this channel, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Okay, guys. So in the Big Brother Niger house, they woke up as usual with that very annoying sound. I don't know where Big Brother normally gets all those annoying sounds. Like, imagine having a hangover and waking up with those. Like, it's annoying. Anyways, I mean, that's what they need because if you don't wake them up like that, they're going to sleep all day. Yes, guys, and they had their exercises. Now, it's interesting that the level one housemate had a trainer. Yeah, a fitness trainer, you know, but the level two housemate did it and i don't know why but i just kind of love you know the level two kind of um exercise of course <laughs> being a person that have been to the gym several times trust me i prefer their own kind of exercise and allison is crazy because when the gym guy in the level one house you know when he was not looking allison started dancing i'm like okay this is my kind of girl so basically that's it you know after that everybody now went to dress up they're all looking good basically they take their time to actually look good kudos to them now let's talk about some of the interesting things and some interesting conversations that has happened you know so far let's talk about um shags i mean shags is one person that is always on our screens you know he's doing you know the whole boyfriend at the husband material 1000 years thing you know helping you know bella cover up and everything when she was you know the whole house is cold so they have to like wear that duvet around them and all that now shags during one of their discussions when they were having their discussions you know at their, their dining table mentioned that normally people that know him people that know him outside the house will probably think he will go for something like chichi yes because i mean chichi is oozing sex appeal chichi is looking good i mean her shape everything but you know he chose to go for bella because for him it's all about personality and not about the physical look now i don't know how to feel about this basically because practically he's saying Bella physically might not right, like be his spec, but he loves her personality. And then using Chichi as it, I don't know how to take it though. I just leave it open to you guys. What do you guys think about that? And also, hmm, Shex was now like their first kiss. That is the kiss between him and Bella will be initiated by Bella and not him. Yes, guys. And okay. And they even had a bet about it. So let's see, you know, down the line if it will be Shex or if it will be Bella that will initiate the kiss. Now, that being said, let's go over to the level two house a bit because I have to be alternated between the two, right? Okay. So this happened. This is Kess and um beauty so you know the house is cold right so they were all like snuggled together and what was cat's hand doing like the hand was just <laughs> what was that like i don't understand like i had to keep replaying and replaying that to see okay what exactly was he rubbing because it was so intense and he did not stop there he was just like oh adjusting i'm like ah <laughs> well, a got married man is actually, you know, following his wife's instructions, you know, to leave as if he's not a married man at all. Let's see how this will go. It's day five in the house, but I think Konji don't they hold this housemates more small. Seriously. And why do I say so? First of all, one of them, I forgot his name, was actually telling a girl about his early morning, you know, standing ovation. If you get where I mean. Like he was basically telling her, I was like, ah, ah. hey, and the way he was describing the whole thing, like, oh, I mean, it's not the kind of what that goes down on its own. You have to use your hand to press it. That I'm like, ah, is this information necessary, sir? Because I do not understand. And no, that's not the only thing people have got. Hmm. Do you guys know that in the trenches, in the other room, Brian was actually letting us know that the the condoms that they gave them yes guys 
was missing that somebody probably hit them because they were like oh maybe you know they didn't give anybody in that room or they didn't give that room a pack of condoms and all of that and they were like no they gave them but it's missing why is it that every season this must happen you see why i told you guys that they can't conjure they hold these people that's why you know, they congee couple couple with the cold. You know, that's why they want to couple. So, I mean, everybody wants to be coupling. Everybody wants to be cuddling. <laughs> anyways, anyways. So, in the garden, you know, while they were at the garden, as at the time I'm making this video, the people in the level one house are in the garden. Yes, guys. And um, Doyen was sitting with Adekule. And, of course, um, Alison was there. And then, Doyen... Um, and then Kulina asks Doyin to leave, like leave so that he can be with Allison. I'm like, ha. Anyways, I mean, that's good because we all know that, I mean, Alison loves or likes Adekule. Now, the funny thing here is that while they were all seated together, <laughs> uh, what's his name? Hemis now came over there, you know, around that laundry area. Hermes now came over there. I'm like, why is Hermes giving Alison close market? Like, I don't understand this. You see what I said? I don't, sometimes, I don't know if it's like-like or if it's Konji kind of like that is doing this housemates. Yes, guys. Now, away from that, um, Hermes today was telling them about himself, basically, and telling them how, you know, being a 21 year old he's and the last i think they have like four siblings and he is the last but he is the one that is like basically shouldering all the responsibilities of the family yeah he is like the one taking care of the family and all that at just 21 years old see i salute him is because it's not easy he talked about how you know the police nigerian police of course you know wrongfully profile him because of you know his hair because of the way he chooses to express himself physically you know he said i think out of it in a week four days he spent in the police cell or something like that which is a serious issue you know in what is happening in our country you know and he also talks about you know the famous clip week we all saw him first in the one that appeared on insta blog where you know his mom you know was missing from the um psychiatric home that he was she was taken to he told us about you know his family background he told us that um his mom left his dad what left them basically when he was two years old and after seven years she came back that even though like he's with the mom it was practically his dad his dad was like you know the his 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 backbone he's the one that taught him that okay oh see your mom said she never family children was never really her concern you know but that doesn't mean that you'd hate her and all that he said so many nice things about the dad he said so many things about the mom so like the mom is like the most beautiful woman you could ever meet and he his mom and his dad like had this arranged marriage because his dad was kind of like very older than his mom and this was like an arranged marriage and maybe the woman didn't really want to get married at that point you know he talked about you know um having you know the reason why he actually took his mom to you know that hospital because you know he was always because of the nature of his job he had to like leave the house for like four days before coming back and his brother you know had to like he's not he's not always around basically so leaving his mom alone all by herself was very risky always you know having to think of oh what would she eat and all that so because of that they had to like put her in a care home or a psychiatric home and all that and she was actually getting better like one of the nurses was saying oh it's because of lack of care and everything that's why she was like that and everything and before you know it i mean that that is situation happened so i give it to hemis like hemis is one guy i respect so much in the house you know he's very articulate he's very smart and despite you know the way he chooses to express himself you know i don't know he's just like Aaron. I don't know, he reminds me so much of Irene because Irene, despite the way she expressed herself, she's very smart. And that's something about people that you look at them, you're like, ah, this one, this one. Like, seriously, I salute him as, like, at that age, shouldering so much responsibility, paying 150K every month, you know, to take care of the mom, having to sell his, um, I think, iPhone iphone 13 pro you know i mean at some point he said he even had to like call for help on social media for people to help him out you know basically like the guy has really um gone through it and i salute his courage yes guys and one beautiful thing i saw 
you know, that during the commercial breaks, um, Big Brother actually put out the whole PVC, getting your PVC announcement. That one sweep my belly no be small because we are in a very, ah, <laughs> the situation we are in our country right now, everybody, all hands needs to be on deck. And as much as we are having so much entertainment, I mean, this is a message that, you know, um, should be passed, especially to the teaming public, especially to the youth. And I applaud Big Brother for doing that. Kudos. Well done, Big Brother. Like, he made it known that despite, you know, having fun and all that, go get your PVC because it's very, 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 very important. And another thing I also like is the, um, is it sportswear or the gym wear that, is it Quidex or Quidex? Yeah, definitely it's not Quidex. I think it's Quidex, you know, gave the housemates. It's so beautiful. I love it. They were all looking so beautiful and radiant in it. And I hope next time they're going to be getting um, a gym instructor or a fitness trainer for the guys in the trenches, the housemates in the trenches, because yeah, it's almost looking like now, you know, they are favoring the island people more than the trenches people. So yeah, I hope they do that so far i mean that is what has been happening i hope hope people that gives them lots and lots of tax um because some of them are even getting bored and all that yeah and yeah i just hope people that give them tax you know from now on so that we'll have something to be looking forward to yes guys anyways guys thank you so very much for being part of my channel if you've not already subscribed kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video until i come your way again i remain your darling girl az williams have yourself a beautiful wonderful day ahead.